tonight. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's a special drive time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result had he opted for the touchback and here come the Eagles on offense and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. But first down, Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They go play action with Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The Eagles' new punter for 2021, Aaron Sipos, to punt it away. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Oh, what a move. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And we get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. After two decades in New England, a change of scenery, and another tremendous season culminating with a Super Bowl title. 40 touchdown pass in the regular season, and most since his record-shattering 50-touchdown season of 2007 in New England. 
He did have minor knee surgery in the offseason, but he said he's sticking with his plan to play beyond the age of 45, which is still two years from now. Look out, NFL. Tom Brady still wants to win. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. Now Brady on the screen, Bernard. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. He's set there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. And as we all remember, 2020, not the greatest of years for the Eagles as a whole, but you certainly can't pin it on their pass rush. They were absolutely terrific throughout the season. 49 sacks as a unit, the third highest total in the NFL, much of it generated by their front four. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And this returnable for Rager. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and ten. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's Hurts to throw. There's the former quarterback, Greg Ward Jr. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And down he goes. A Buccaneer sack. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. JPP was a pro bowler for the third time in his career last year as the Bucs won the Super Bowl title. Ended up finishing 2020 with 89 career sacks. 
So he has a chance with a really good season to get to 100. And let's see, the box with six DB, so a dime set here on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete the eagles send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away his first punt 45 yards this looks good as well That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. To throw, it's Brady. It's complete. He's got Gronk. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Brady on target to Gronk, first down Buccaneers. And there's a familiar sight, Rob Gronkowski making a catch for a first down. And remember, Gronk said he was done in 2019, was out of football after retiring from the Patriots. But Brady asked if he'd run it back with him in Tampa, and he answered the call. Gronk earned his fourth ring with the win in Super Bowl 55, a game in which he scored two touchdowns. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin, but now it'll be third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Brady to throw. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Brady. Oh, he can't get away. dropping that time for his second sack of the evening. No score after one on EA Sports. And they need 
need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. A very solid gain of 27. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Throw right side, caught by O.J. Howard. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. First down catch there by O.J. Howard, well done. And he's got to be excited because he missed a lot of the fun last year after suffering a torn Achilles back in week four. But his head coach, Bruce Arian, says the sky's the limit for him in 2021 after rehabbing in the offseason. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Now Brady. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. That try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now a first carry from Giovanni Bernard. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Throwing now is Brady. his third sack tonight they can't figure him out so Charles no turnovers yet for this offense but those sacks now they're starting to pile up and one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield Suckup's kick is good. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. now to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific, it's not a great starting field position as well. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 16. On the draw, here's Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. First and 10, it's Hurts. Flush to his right. Good footwork at the 30. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Four yards remain for second down. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Hurts rolling to Hurts, fumbles it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten. And here we go again with Tom Brady in Tampa's offense. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession as they'll take over with just under a minute left to play. On first and 10, here's Brady. That is caught, it's Chris Godwin. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And Chris Godwin, one of those great unselfish players. Remember, he gave up his uniform number to Tom Brady when he got to town. And he's kind of known as the 1B to Mike Evans 1A in this Tampa Bay pecking order among receivers. He makes a nice catch there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Brady going to throw. And this 
one is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's second and ten. Brady now to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Brady. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. It's complete to Brown, right side. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And that's a good catch there for a first down by Antonio Brown. And in his career, at one point, he had six straight seasons over 100 catches. Not putting up those types of numbers now, but continues to be a favorite of Tom Brady, who recruited him originally to New England and most recently to Tampa. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Over the middle, complete. It's Evans. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And Suckup will put this one right through. And that will make it six to nothing. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. This will be fielded inside the five. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. Six nothing is our count at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It was a strong first half from, who else? Tom Brady. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half is underway. 
taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back to the 24. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed, it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way through, pick up those guys rushing the quarterback, and give himself a chance. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. To throw is Brady. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Rock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Suckup's kick is good. And that will make our score 9 to nothing. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. This one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 
So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Here's Sanders. He'll get three up to midfield. Well, it's not time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Coming up on second and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. That's caught. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, 39 yards. And the Eagles are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is down to two. So the drive there took six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 26. Brady to Evans on the slam. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Fake the handoff. Now Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it here with Bernard. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Eric Wilson able to make the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Fancy footwork in midfield. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Five yards, now it's third and five. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. You have to stay in bounds and run that clock. Coaches, that'll drive them crazy. Sacrifice a yard or two if you have to. Just go down, in bounds, keep that clock going. It's almost like he was caring more about his fantasy stats than it was about winning the game. And that has to drive the coach crazy. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Smith here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. 
And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. He'll look to throw. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. And Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. From the 41, Hurts, he'll get this to Ward. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But it certainly feels like we can't mention Greg Ward without using the phrase converted quarterback, but he's turned into an excellent, dependable receiver. Wound up leading the Eagles with 53 catches last season. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 45, 45. Mike, 45. Throwing his hurts. Called in over the middle by Rager. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Now a carry for Sanders, and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll go again with Sanders, and they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Well, that rate, picking up three yards a carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs, unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation, but I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. It'll be Hurts on the option. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A touchdown is a must here, but of course, beware of leaving too much time on the clock for Tom Brady. It's first and goal. Escaping the press. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts. 
taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. up to five. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. at about the one and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line so here's Brady and the Bucks down 14-9 less than 90 seconds to go they need a touchdown a field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10 up second down so he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is he just off just by a bit maybe he can get it back in this situation he'll need to the throw on the quick slant going to be complete and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. Hey, you just have to think, in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. Back to throw, Brady. Oh, well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. To throw is Brady. He's gonna drop this one down to Bernard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Brady to throw. Open man, Gronkowski complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout 
As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Back to throw. Got a man complete to Miller. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 24 yards. in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. Just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.